In this video we will be activating some development settings. We will activate the team debug and services YAML. We will activate a setting to have less cache to clear. We will install and take a look at the develop module and we will activate the kin debugging tool and test it by our team file. So if we jump to our Drupal code base, in order to activate the debugging option, we would have to go to sites, default, and take a look at default services YAML. So if we copy the content of default services, and if we create a new file under default, and call it services YAML and if we paste the whole content from default services what we can do now is we can go under parameters tweak config and under debug if we say true and save and if we now jump to our Drupal frontend and if we clear all caches go under configuration performance and clear all caches and if we go back to the front page for example and use right click inspect now we actually see from which templates the output of our page comes so we see here it comes from the html.html tweak here it comes from page.html.tweak so Basically, this means that the debug option of tweak is now activated. The next thing we want to do is we want to make so that we would have to clear the cache in less cases. So in order to do that, we can go ahead again under tweak config so we can simply disable the tweak cache so we just say cache false save that's all we want to do here the next thing we want to do is we want to download the develop module so if we go to drupal.org and if we go under download and extend then under modules if we search for devel we would actually see the devel module here what we want to do is we want to download let's go for the tar gd file and specify our Drupal code base and modules and let's go ahead and create custom folder custom and save it there and if we go to finder and again to our code base modules custom if we unzip it there we go we have the devel module here so what we want to do now is we want to basically activate it in our drupal instance we want to search for it devel and activate it and what we want to do in addition is we want to activate also the devel kind i will show you how that works so install
and basically with the develop module um, we are able to inspect stuff like if we have uh, some example content let's say we have uh, test article and we save it uh, we actually have now the develop tab here and we're able to inspect for example this entity or yeah, the renderable array so basically with the develop module another very handy option is develop generate let's go ahead and install also that sub module of the develop module uh, under configuration in that case under generate content we are actually able to generate let's say we want to generate articles we say we want to generate five articles and we just click generate and if we go under content we actually see that now we have five random articles more wonderful so this is for the develop module let's go ahead and check the kint module the kint actually gives us a bit better output we basically saw that the develop module lets us I inspect something with this output but with the help of kint we are actually able to see it in a slightly nicer way so in order to do that we would, we would define a dot team file so if we go to our team and if we create a new file and save it and call it the name of our team webshop.team and we'll say it's a php file and if we declare a random uh, preprocess function basically I happen to know that there is a function called function called hook preprocess html so let's go ahead and declare this function function and call it the name of our team hook basically substitutes the with the name of our team so we say web shop underscore preprocess html and we pass as reference variables and basically we want to use the kint here and say kint variables so that we could actually see what we have at our disposal here in Drupal we're able to use some preprocess functions and we're able to get them here change them if we want or do whatever we want with them and afterwards they're going to the output of our team so if we save now and if we go to configuration and performance and clear all caches and if we go back to our team 
yes basically we see here the output of kint it looks much nicer since we actually see uh, the top array in this case and we can expand it and uh, it's much more ordered and in case this is a object we actually see the object and one great thing about the objects is that we actually see the methods here and if they are public or private we see the static methods and this is a great tool that I use every day and I advise you to use also if you like this video please check the links into the description and subscribe thank you